Hello and welcome to Magical Maidens Jewelry Tutorials. Okay, so today I have yet another one using sequences, but today I'm going to make one of these very long necklaces using sequences. Now I'm not going to use the bigger ones that I showed you in my last few jewelry tutorials. And sorry for the noise, I have my window open and there's people outside. Okay, so this was the larger one. Now, this package and this package was only 99 cents. Now, I'm not sure if that stays that way regularly or they're like $1.99, but when I was there, it was 99 cents. And they do have a lot of sales at Hobby Lobby, 30% off, 40, 50, 60 at any given time. So they're relatively inexpensive and they're fun to use. Okay, so I have used these. Now you can do that with these. And the larger one has two holes. The smaller one only has one hole. Now you want to try to handle them like this because they do get fingerprints. So use a soft cloth to wipe them when you're all done. Now for this, if you need to have another hole lined up, use a push pin and you push it down line it up, push it down. Don't go too close to the edge, but don't go too far in the center. And I will be showing you that when I get to that. Okay, so this is a chain that I've already made myself. Now, if you don't have a long chain already, you can get uh, a roll of chain from anywhere, from any craft store like Hobby Lobby, Michaels, you could order it online on Amazon, Panda Hall, BB Crafts, Rings and Things, and just make it as long as you want. Now this chain I made is about 18 and a half inches long. It's pretty long. We will have to be cutting this up, so you will need your jewelry working tools, you'll need your cutter, your flat nose, your round nose, because you'll also need some jump rings. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to, every few inches, I'm going to connect, I'm going to punch holes and I'm going to connect three of these and then I'm going to connect it to a chain and then that. And it's just three. And then I'm going to go down and do it again. And then I'm going to go down and do it again until, and leaving the same amount of space on both sides. So you might want to measure it out. You don't want to have it to, it'll be like that and it'll go all the way around. Now, you can use one of these large ones and do one or two and then more chain. You know one or two or more chain if you wanted the bigger look but i'm going to go with these so i'm going to get everything out of my way you can buy this also from you can buy this also from hobby lobby it's a package and it comes like in three bags all in one they're different shapes and sizes they have square they have round they have iridescent then they also have clear iridescent and like different sizes and shapes. So it gives you a good collection. Now I use quite a bit because I made a lot of jewelry using this. I made a whole chain out of this. I made a choker, I made earrings, a lot of earrings. So, you know, you, you might want to do that. You can use square ones if you prefer, but they already come with this. So, and they're the same size. So if you want to get the single package and you want the mixed, then go ahead and get that. Is separate these in three so I can connect them. And you're going to line these up. Now I already did one. I'm going to get the other one. And I'm, there's already one hole in there. And I'm going to, not too close to the edge, push my push pin through. Now, this is a self-healing cutting mat. So you're going to want to have that handy. So I made a little dent and I'm going to push my tack through and now I'm going to do the same on the other side. Okay, but now you're going to have your fingerprints. So you're going to want to clean that off. So have, have a, a soft tissue 
and that's what you're going to do and you're going to repeat that for all of the ones that you have to hook up okay so i have to go and punch holes and connect three by three by three but i'm just going to do the first one with you and that is my cat rudy has always yes rudy he's always here um he wants to sit on my lap but that's impossible right now i'm sorry rudy no this isn't a video you can be in let me look at your face so i'm going to do one more and i'm going to punch the hole in it and then i'm going to connect them so make sure you have your jewelry tools and your jump rings and i'm sorry about my cat but it wouldn't be a video without rudy meowing and again push through flip it over push through and then clean it up you might want to wait to clean them and make them shiny when you're all done and they're hooked to your necklace because you got to handle them so now you got to find what size you want these might be too big so i might use these these are like a these are <laughs> i'm not gonna be able to do this these are like a seven eight millimeter and these are like a six you can use a four but then they might sit too close it's up to you whatever size jump rings you prefer if you like a lot of space but i kind of want them a little close but not too close that they're overlapping What's going on? Okay. And I'm going to attach these and then I'm going to attach the third one. So I got to close this. And again, sorry about my cat, Rudy. He's, <laughs> he's not going to stop unless, unless he sits on my lap, which is impossible at this moment. This is the part that's time consuming, punching the holes and getting them connected. But you want to do that first so that the second part is faster. Okay, so I'm going to push these out of the way. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take our chain. Now I already have a clasp, a large lobster claw clasp. You can use any kind you want, the rounded ones, the little lobster claws, the toggle. And like I said, it's about, I would say it's about maybe between 18 and 19 inches long. Okay. So it goes to the end. So now what you want to do is take this and see where about you're going to want to start the three by three by three okay now if you don't have a chain already made that's a little easy so um most of this is going to be behind my neck so i'm going to start right about here And I'm going to hold this. And now you're going to need your cutting tool. And I'm going to make sure that I cut. Okay. So now I cut that. Now this is going to become longer. So in the end, you are going to trim things off. So now I want to connect that to that. So now I could either use the same size or I can use smaller, but I'm just going to keep going with the same size. And this way you don't have to get confused with your chain and it's easier. About three to three and a half inches I left and then I cut but we're gonna see how that goes okay so you can do that by measuring how many and however you want that to go so now I need another jump ring so this part would be behind your neck because there's the clasp okay and then you're going like that so now see how that looks and it's easier when these three already holes punched with just a push pin, tack, whatever you want to call it. 
and these are all hooked up because then you just have to concentrate on that okay so now that I got that I want to do one side then the other so that everything is even because you might end up just doing one side and then realizing hmm it's not so even on the other side okay so you could either count how many or measure the amount so this is what I'm going to do I'm going to do both I'm going to measure the amount so it's about three inches three inches over there okay so you could do it that way or you could line it up if you want to measure some people resist measuring sometimes I'm like that okay now we're gonna go hold this okay all right so I've gone ahead and attached those I poked the hole through it using the push pin I attached the jump rings and since I've already cut that other side on video for you you can see and then I just wanted to attach the other piece so that's even and it was three inches that I had on both sides so now we're just going to repeat that so if it was three inches we can do the same thing throughout so I can do another three inches right over I'm gonna have that and cut it and then do it again okay so this is what I've got so far I have four rows of that two on either side and I made sure that I did one side then the other one side then the other this way I can make sure that they match so when you put it on they look uniform so you want to make sure you do that instead of doing one row and not the other now I'm going to finish I'm going to go all the way down to the very end of this and again I said this chain is at the, about 18 and a half to 19 inches long you can have it as long as short as you want if you didn't want it quite as long as that and again I left three inches in between the clasp and where it starts and where the next one starts and the other one begins okay so when you're done with this you're going to get like either a very soft cloth or a very soft tissue kind of breathe on it like and then hold it by the edge because these do get dusty and they will have fingerprints on them so try not to handle them like that handle them on the side some of them do look scratched but for the most part that's what you get with sequences and they are really shiny and they do look very nice they simulate metal so this is what I have so far I have to add more because it's longer but I wanted to show you something I picked up yesterday in between doing taping this this is another large one it's white I don't know if you can tell it's white iridescent and these are the silver ones they do have gold but I didn't see any other color of the large just silver and then this white iridescent and I picked up another package of these see these are how they come and these are the square they have different shapes and sizes and some are iridescent some are clear iridescent and then the rest are silver and they're still all 99 cents at Hobby Lobby all right so I'm going to get these out of the way so here it is I had to hang it up in here it's a cloudy day so no matter where I went and I wanted to get the full thing it's hard for me to stand up in this little area and get the whole entire necklace in the shot so it was easier for me to hang it on a shirt and this is how long it is now if you wanted to make it shorter you can do that but I ended it with three on the bottom so you can do that and I still have to clean them I cleaned as I went around but you know I handled it a lot and I got my fingerprints all over it 
So these are very nice when they catch the light and so I'm trying to get everything even. Here it is. It's all finished. I just wanted you to see what it looks like. And that's the full length. Now I had to make it shorter because the chain was very long. So I cut the chain and then I made it longer and left the three pieces and the end like that. Now if you wanted to just have chain and not the three sequences on the bottom, you could do that. But I prefer to do this this way. So I hope you enjoyed this craft. If you did, please give it a like. If you know anybody that would be interested in doing this jewelry tutorial, please share it with them. And remember, if you have any questions, just leave me a comment or if you just want to say hello. And don't forget to subscribe and click that notification bell because I do have more videos coming up soon and you don't want to miss it. So thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.